Clay Guillory is a graduate of the University of Louisiana at Lafayette who's using his expertise in 3D printing to serve people who are missing hands or arms. He first helped an eight-year-old boy in Denver. This child who's never grabbed anything with their hand before can actually pick an object up or you know, attempt to write their name with their hands. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really good feeling. What do you think? Great. And all this is adjustable, so there's mm -hmm. some tensioners here. When he pulls his wrist down, mm -hmm. the hand actuates. Maybe so. you can pick it up. I have a lot of new stuff I can try out now. There's a process whenever a child is going to be fitted for the hand. They take pictures and everything has to be scaled and measured. Then I make the hand and then I go and finally meet the child. When I'm going to grab something, uh -huh. I need to get it close to the thumb because it goes towards this. The idea to make prosthetics came to Guillory after he put an ad offering 3D printing on Craigslist and Dominic's mother, Nicole Martinez, contacted him. He really loves like baseball and it's been really hard for him to hold a bat. So I think he's gonna really try <laughs> to use that. So most of the things that I do are open source. So they were someone else's idea and I decided to make it on my own and see where I could take it and how I could improve others' lives. He builds and sells 3D printers through his successful business, Titan Robotics, which allows him to make prosthetic devices and offer them free of charge. He's even productive in his sleep. It's generally when I'm sleeping, unfortunately, is when most of my ideas come to my mind. So I'll wake up at four in the morning with a solution to a problem I've had all day. I generally remember it in the morning until my memory starts failing. I'll, I'll stick with that program. <laughs> It's a program that works, dreaming up things that help humanity, and he thinks anyone can do it. Follow your dreams. If it's something you want to do, if you really think you can change the world and help people out, the possibilities are limitless. And life-changing. I think it's just the fact that he just wanted just to see how it feels to have a hand. I'm Sandra Sarr, reporting in Colorado Springs, Colorado, for the University of Louisiana at Lafayette.